Apple just released Logic 11.1, which may sound like a small fix the bugs type update, but it is actually a very cool update with a lot of features that people have been asking for for years and a bunch of features that I didn't even know I wanted, but now I'm really excited to have. So in this video, what I wanna do is share my five top new features in the Logic 11.1 update. This is not a comprehensive overview of everything in the update, but it's the things that I'm most excited about. If you are looking for a comprehensive overview of everything, I'll link down below to a great Why Logic Pro rules video that goes through everything that has come out with this update. But in my opinion, there's five things that are most exciting for day-to-day -day mixing. And the first may seem small, but if you've ever accidentally hit this mastering assistant button on your master track or stereo output in Logic, then you know it's extremely annoying because I'm in the middle of a mix and now I have to wait for this to analyze my audio and I can't do anything while that's happening or I have to figure out the key command, which by the way is command period, I, point being, it's very annoying. It will throw you off in the mixing process. And if you don't want it up, if you're in the middle of a mix, you're not gonna wanna pull up your master assistant anyway. So finally, they've made it so we can hide that. If you go up here to settings and go down to view and then click over to mixer, you just need to turn off show master assistant button and stereo output. The great thing is I can also just click on this and pull it up anytime that I want. So it's not going away. It's just not up all the time and it's easy for me to hide. So personally, I'm gonna turn it off. I don't need to have it on all the time. If I wanna use it, I'll pull it up when I want it. Okay, that's number one. I think that's really, really great. Number two is being able to rearrange tracks in the mixer window. So historically, you could only rearrange your tracks in this view here. So if I wanted to move any tracks around, I had to do it here, but now, I can actually do it in this view. If I just click on the tracks I wanna rearrange and wait until they hover up, then I can move them around. So if you click on them and don't wait, then what's gonna happen is just gonna give you an option to select multiple tracks. But if you click and wait for just one second, maybe a half second, then you can move around and whatever changes you make here will carry over to this view, which is handy, of course. It keeps everything in sync for you. So a simple feature, but very helpful. And it also helps because let's say I wanna move multiple tracks together to be together, but in a different place in the session, I can select each of them. I can click and hover for a second and it will pull them together and allow me to move all of them together. And again, also moves them in this view, which is very nice. And the final way that this is really helpful is let's say you create a new bus here. It'll create this new aux track for me, but this aux track is not visible in this view. And if I wanted to have it in this view to automate it or for whatever other reason, I'd have to click here to create a new track. And then at that point I can see it in this window. But now because I can rearrange here, if I just drag and pull it in, then now it's in this view. I didn't have to create the track. It's just a small thing, but it's a time saver that will just streamline that the process of that workflow for me a little bit. And that kind of stuff is very helpful when you're in the throes of mixing. Okay, the third feature, and you may have heard people talk about this because this is something people have been asking for for a long time, is the ability to search for plugins. So now when you click to add a plugin, the first thing that comes up is a search bar and you can just type in whatever plugin you want and it will bring in the options with whatever you type. So like their new Quantec Room Simulator, which we'll talk about here in just a minute. What's cool is that it immediately takes you to this search bar. So I don't have to navigate to a search bar and then start typing, literally I just click and let's say I wanted to pull up all my Waves plugins, I could do that, or all my EQs. So you get the idea, it's just a really fast way to pull up plugins. It's much speedier than navigating through a bunch of menus to find whatever plugin it was that you're going for. So before you'd have to go through your EQs, or you'd have to go down to audio units and find the manufacturer, and then find the plugin. Now I can just search for whatever I want, whether that's a chorus, and I can see all my choruses in one place. It's just a faster, more streamlined approach to finding plugins. So very excited. I know that's gonna be helpful to me. And one other thing that people are excited about is that you can also do this with your buses or your sends and with your outputs, you can search for your outputs. I don't see myself using that feature a whole lot, but it is cool that they included it. Okay, the fourth feature is that now I can just hover over a plugin if I wanna get rid of it and hold command and it will bring up this eraser icon and I can just delete it. You can also do this with your sends. So if you wanna get rid of any of your sends, your bus sends, you can just go hover over it and delete it. Not a feature I knew that I wanted, but definitely a faster way before you'd have to go down to no plugin. It's just a small little time saver, but just being able to hover over 
and erase it. I mean, come on. I never thought I wanted an eraser in Logic, but that's a very handy feature. Okay, I actually don't want to erase this plugin though because that's the fifth and final thing I want to talk about, which is their new Quantum Room Simulator Reverb plugin. This is a very good sounding reverb plugin. I've only played with it for a few minutes, but I am really impressed with the sound of this plugin. So here I have a drum room sound where I'm just adding a little extra drum reverb to this drum mix. And before I was using the Space Designer in what I think is a nice sound 1.4 second nice room preset and this is kind of a go-to for me if I'm going for this type of drum reverb but this new Quantec room simulator might beat it out in my opinion so just in the default mode this is what it sounds like and you have the option to make it brighter darker or boost more low end or cut more low end you can extend the length of the room with the reverb time. You also have room size here. So this could be a massive room. It's fully flexible to be whatever you want it to be. You can also shorten it. So in this case, with a room like this, I often prefer it to be something more like a second and a half. So you can play around with the room size and the reverb time to get the right sound for that. It also gives you easy control over the first reflections, which is basically kind of like the slap in the room, that initial reflection off the walls. It's really, really cool. And if we just compare it to the Space Designer, which is a good sound and reverb plugin, this is that 1.4 second nice room. Sounds nice. Go over to the Quantec. It just sounds, it's just exactly what I want from a drum reverb. So I am really excited to play around with this plugin, get more use of it in the context of a full mix. But right now, just as a new feature, the fact that they've included this for free in an update, we didn't have to pay for this update and we're getting free stuff just for being Logic users is awesome. Okay, I'd love to hear from you. What is your favorite new feature in this Logic 11.1 update? Is it one of the ones that I talked about in this video? Is it something I didn't talk about? Definitely let me know in the comments below. If this video was helpful, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next week with another video. One thing